Hello, Mama Llamas. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Antonia's Legacy. And what better way to kick off October of 2020? Um, she just cut her finger there, but with a spooky day party. So yesterday is spooky day, which is very exciting. And Antonia wanted to throw a little bit of a costume party with all her friends. So she did decorate just a little bit. So she has her trick or treat bowl right here. So um, sometimes some kids or like teenagers will walk in and like grab a treat um, or a trick so don't mind that but yes the spooky party is about to start in one hour so Antonia is just making some chips and salsa I believe either that or spooky cookies I do not remember what I told her to cook but as you can see I gave her just a little bit of a makeover and look we have a little girl um, that tried to get a treat but she ended up getting a trick so sorry little girl you look kind of scary but it's fine but anyways um, like I was saying, I gave Tony a huge makeover. Um, she looks more like artsy now and more like a writer, if that makes sense. But she did go to work today um, she, and she's pretty much in the middle of her performance. So she's doing a pretty good job. But she is very, very excited to be hosting her first ever spooky party here in her brand new apartment. I'm so super excited. I do have a keg stand right here so we can get a little wasted if we want to. I'm not sure if she wants to do that tonight, but let's go ahead and tap the juice keg and I want to see if she's gonna do it right. But look at her. Doesn't she look so cute? She looks like a artsy like bookworm. That's literally what she is. This outfit just embodies her um, so much. I did do a create a sim like a speed create a sim video um, before this video goes up. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. Oh no. <laughs> Tony really said I'm gonna ruin everything right before it starts. No. Okay. So the spooky party is about to begin. Are you ready to start this will end any currently running events let's go ahead and start um Tony you good let's go ahead and try to tap it again it looks like she's <laughs> she's embarrassed um a failed tapper from unsu unsuccessfully tapping a juice keg oof Antonia tried to tap the keg but did something wrong and now juice is everywhere um so go ahead and try it again actually did she t did she tap it I don't even know what that means like what does that even do you know but i did choose passion fruit for the drink and looks like she's a pizza delivery woman um today or a guy i mean i don't know so that's pretty cool um but let's go ahead and fill cups with juice so it looks like our friend salim um he's actually our co-worker which i had no idea about but he's here and tony did say that he could bring a plus one so we're gonna go ahead and thank him for coming and um ask him where his plus one is because I'm not seeing him right now but oh my god Mila is super upset and she's kind of like joking around she's like hey I know you brought a plus one um and I'm not seeing him anywhere did you actually bring one and Salim's like yeah actually I think I just saw him walk in and it looks like he's here actually Mr. Arthur Wellington and oh my god the second Antonia laid her eyes upon this man I swear I freaking swear she died but she's gonna be polite and go ahead and give a friendly introduction to arthur um but tony's feeling some type of way and it's kind of awkward because a tag is right there and they're kind of like a thing right now but i didn't even notice that tag was here so let's go ahead and brighten his day um and do a little bit of an impression but i'm wondering if there's like a spooky movie we can all watch which i'm sure we can but arthur's like hey you know thanks for inviting me thanks for letting salim take me um i actually live in the apartment complex over so like all the way over there or okay let's zoom out um like all the way over yonder so not too far but she's like okay well cool well thanks for coming um make yourself at home so i feel like antonia wants to um, get a little bit of juice so let's drink some passion fruit actually you know what before we grab juice I do want to try and do a keg stand with um let's go ahead and do a tag maybe he would be up for it but what is he dressed as i can't tell is he like a chef or something like a cia agent fbi i mean he's wearing all black it's kind of kind of sus but let's see if he's gonna drop us bro if i if he drops us i swear we're gonna drop him okay no i'm just kidding um but look everybody's cheering us on let's go oh my gosh oh he dropped us oh my gosh and he laughed too oh my gosh you jerk 
here yell at him like why would you drop me you <laughs> i thought you were strong at tag what the heck <laughs> but she's gonna apologize for <laughs> getting so uh, mad but the party is going well right now but she does see arthur over here um, so let's compliment his outfit. I'm not sure what he's supposed to be <laughs> for Spooky Day. It just looks like he's kind of in um, his outerwear. But it looks like he's... Ooh, Mila's going to Reagan's carrying her. Guys, I just got the <laughs> perfect freaking moment. Oh my god. Why <laughs> Why is everybody dropping? And <laughs> Reagan's like, ha ha. <laughs> but we did get a little bit of a mood lit from this. And it says keg stand fail from failing at the keg stand. That keg stand was a tragedy and Sonia needs some breath. But something about Arthur is just really intriguing to her. She's not sure why. Um, but let's go ahead and discuss our interests and get to know him a little bit. He can make a very good friend. Who knows, maybe he's a bookworm um, like ourselves. So let's go ahead and brighten his day. Um, and then I do want to, I don't know if Tony wants to go straight into the book talk yet because she doesn't want to scare him away. You know what I'm saying? But share the spooky day spirit. Um, I can't believe the party's still going on now it's 1 a.m and i'm not sure when it's supposed to end but totally fine i mean we can stay up all night if we wanted to but let's grab a drink of um passion fruit juice and kind of enjoy that but it looks like um they're watching uh, the kids channel i think i don't know but let's all watch a scary movie so let's do moonlight massacre 3 with salem arthur bella mariella reagan tag mila mindy lynn and or we can't do Ciara but it's fine she'll just watch with us so let's watch the spooky movie I'm very curious as to how this is gonna go so what's going on here okay so we got um some teenagers it looks like um at a bar or no it's a house and they're driving oh you know what I think is gonna happen they're gonna go to like a campsite oh <laughs> the red text um they're gonna go to a campsite and get like mauled alive by a bear or not even a bear like a ghost or like demon um but it looks like they're going to a diner I guess guess or a consignment shop or something and the guy's like well you know what um we've heard some stories of ghosts and stuff so you better watch out kids and they're like oh crap <laughs> but i was like this movie sucks guys i don't know why we are watching this that's so funny um but who is wait who is this again i forgot her name i literally forgot her name and i can't find her because everybody's wearing costumes um but i guess our neighbor said my favorite series is about to come on so i should get home thanks for spending time with me see you later Spooky Day was awful. What? No, it was a bomb. I don't know why he said it was awful. And Tony had a great time. Um, but it looks like she's pretty much done with her juice. Oh no, she's gonna sit down on the toilet and drink it. I love that. But it gave her a flirty emoji. Or not emoji, emo. Moodlet, guys. Moodlet. That says sugar and spice from drinking passion fruit juice. There's love in the air, or at least Antonia is feeling it thanks to that amorous drink she just had. So, you know what? Um, let's go Brighton Tags Day and maybe flirt with him a little bit. I feel like Antonia is still kind of mad at him for dropping her. Um, but like her, she's just going to go ahead and set it aside. She's not one to hold grudges, you know. But um, she's going to go ahead and flirt with him a little bit. Um, oh, whoa. But Arthur just said, I have to go. Um, it is 2.50 a.m. So, you know, I don't blame him. But he said, it was nice seeing you. Call me later. What? Oh, okay. So... Oh, um, that's interesting. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and ignore that for now um, and compliment his appearance um, just a little bit. Uh, give him a sexy pose. Um, just thank him for coming tonight um, and confess her attraction. She's like, I really like you, dude, but everybody's still here and the party ended. <laughs> so let's go ahead and send everybody home um, except Tag. He can stay. But okay, so everybody should be going um make bella leave too but we had an awesome party tonight it was actually really fun but it actually looks like tony is tipsy so antonia is feeling slightly inebriated um so her like line of i don't know what to say um she's just not thinking clearly straight she's she's thinking pretty good but um she's a little on the tipsy side and she's feeling flirty and stuff um with the tag so she kind of forgot 
um, that tech uh, dropped her earlier, but she was also kind of hurt that he laughed after, which kind of sucked, but you know, we're forgetting it. Tony does not hold grudges, like I said, but he's just going through our fridge. Like, I don't know why um, he is doing that, and he's just eating our, what is that, sugar cookie? Okay, um, pop off, I guess, but let's go ahead and grab a treat because we haven't done that yet and see um, what we get. So we got a trick. Um, that's kind of scary, but it's totally fine. She did get a treat, so that's great. Um, but Tag's just kind of being weird right now, so let's flirt with him a little bit more and kind of talk to him and just see how the night goes. Listen, Antonia, I really like you and I think we should take it to the next level tonight. Even in a pizza guy costume, you still look sexy as hell. I don't know, Tag. I, I don't think I'm ready. Come on, it'll be fun. Please, Antonia. <sighs> okay, fine. Good morning, you guys, or should I say good afternoon? So if you just saw that, you would know that Tony uh, just lost her virginity to tag. Um, Gary Lynn, what's up? Sure, I'd love to help you out now. Which way did you come in? Can you stay away from me? I don't know you, um, but why is our power shut off? Wait, hold up. Okay, not sure why our power shut off, but we will just fix that um, with the bills. We're gonna go and pay our bills, but Tony actually did just lose her virginity um, to Tag Miller, and so she was um, she was tipsy last night. She wasn't crazy drunk, so you know she remembers pretty much everything that happened last night, and um, she she's feeling kind of weird right now. You know she's sad because she had an awful holiday. Um, but she's just kind of feeling some type of way about what happened last night. She feels, um, at, like she feels two different ways right now. She feels like she was pretty much pressured into doing something, um, that she didn't want to do. And then on the other hand, she's kind of like, no, Tony, you're overreacting. Like, you know, this is how it's supposed to be. You know, you're 22, 23 and you haven't lost your virginity yet. Like, just do it. Just go ahead. You know? Um, so she's just kind of having <laughs> mixed emotions right now. And it's making me really sad actually see like she's happy and then she's sad um she's happy because she's like wow i finally lost it and then um she's sad because you know it's probably not the right way to lose it and to make things freaking worse these people are um doing a little bit of woohoo on uh the in the other apartment so it looks like um the house was trashed a little bit nothing too crazy you know people did pick up after themselves just a little bit um but she pretty much cleaned the whole place up when she woke up but she's really angry now because of the noisy neighbors so she's gonna go pound on the door because she is just not feeling it this morning and thank god that we didn't have work today because um she was up to like 5 or 6 a.m with tag and then as soon as they finished um doing the thing uh tag just left like he didn't even sleep over so she's kind of um, feel like crap right now, but Tag did text her this morning to ask her how she was and stuff and if they wanted to meet up today. Um, and she said she thinks about it. She has some work to do today. Like, for example, she has to get level two in the writing skills so she can get a promotion. So I think we will work on that a little bit today. But who just came out? The same woman. She literally keeps making noise after we keep telling her constantly not to. Like, yeah, we may be yelling at her, but like we're yelling for a reason. And she said, hey, Hey, I live here too. I'm sorry. Your life is boring. Maybe you should go to the lounge and have some fun of your own. Okay. If she knew what we are going through right now, she would not have said that stupid stuff, but let's go <laughs> take an angry poop, girl. I feel that. We can go ahead and work on our writing. And actually our dad is calling us um, and he said, Hey honey, it's dad. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. <laughs> you can at least drop by once in a while and tell your old dad you love him. Can't you? Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, I feel so bad. Um, why don't you come over right now, Dad? He said, well, sure. If you got nothing else happening, I'll pop on by. I'll see you in a few. Um, and here he is, Marco. He is just, uh, I love him so much. And you know what? It's the perfect time for our dad to come so we can kind of, um, obviously, we're not going to tell him about what happened because I don't feel like Antonia is very comfortable with telling him that. Um, but we can go ahead and spend some time with him. So go ahead and give him a hug, a loving hug. Um, and I did for, I actually forgot for a little bit that we do have a baby brother. Um, so I'll be aging him up probably after this episode and give him a little bit of a makeover, but I'm sure he's gonna be super cute because Marco and Crystal are freaking beautiful human beings. But what can we do with Marco? Let's go ahead and brighten his day a little bit. Um, what else can we do? Can we like vent to him? Um, since we're angry, rant and rave. Yeah, there we go. So that's not being mean to him technically. So she's like, yesterday was just crazy. And he's like, well, what happened, dear? And she's like, I don't really want to talk about it. And Marco's like, totally fine. You know, I understand, honey. Um, but <laughs> I'm, I feel like Antonio is really glad actually that um, he came by. But I do want her to work on her writing skill for today. And actually speaking of last night, um, she did talk to Arthur a little bit. So Arthur and Salim have been friends um, for a very long time so Salim is our co-worker and they're actually roommates so they live together and Salim actually has um, a dog which we haven't met before and I've already seen the dog and it's super cute I'm not sure if it's a guy or a girl but that doesn't really matter but they got to talking last night at the party and it turns out that Arthur really likes books too like he loves um, Lord of the Rings and like Harry Potter um, and just all those different series and Tonya did kind of express to him that she was kind of interested in starting a book club that's kind of been something that she has always wanted to do ever since she got into books and writing and stuff and Arthur was like you know what like that sounds really cool you know I would be down to start one <laughs> if you are down as well and Tony was like you know what heck yeah um so I think they're gonna meet up for coffee sometime soon and kind of go over what they want to do for the book club um what books they want to read and kind of get um people to invite so I think Crystal would love to be a part of the book club. She likes books too. I think that's where Antoni gets a lot of her um, book warmness from, I guess, if that makes sense. But it's a rainy day. Oh, I love it. I love rainy days in The Sims 4. But what is Marco up to? He, he's just chilling. He's just here for moral support. But I'm going to speed through. Um, I do want her to reach level two of the writing skill so that we can get a promotion. And then for our aspiration, we actually have to write two books and then write for one hour raw inspired um, but Mariel said I miss you a lot sis can you stop by for a little bit um, sorry sis we're just a little busy um, I feel kind of bad I always feel bad for denying like my family members um, like when they ask to see me but like sometimes we just got to do what we got to do we are um, a working woman Antonia is a working woman but every time I see this snow globe I just love it so so much but Tony is actually feeling a little bit tense and it says cooped up from loves the outdoors treat so she really does want to go outside but unfortunately um, it is raining and I don't feel like she wants to be um, soaking wet in the rain right now but Marco's like honey you see kind of off today is something wrong like you know you can talk to me um you know you can tell your dad anything i'm always here for you and she's like well thank you dad i've just been having a rough week at work and stuff um but i appreciate you coming over and he's like yeah your mom's busy right now um with the baby so i thought i would stop by but i think we're gonna go ahead and send marco home we do need time for ourselves to finish um our writing skill kind of get up there a little bit so we can get a promotion tomorrow hopefully if not tomorrow then friday Friday. Um, but Marco said, I have some things to do at home. See you later. Um, and Ciara is here, but <laughs> Antonia really doesn't want any visitors right now. She really wants to be alone at the moment, but it looks like she's almost done with her writing skill. So gonna speed, gonna speed through. <laughs> Marco, no, I'm sorry. Um, but it looks like she's done. Yes. Okay. So we finished um, our promotion task, but Antonia's pretty hungry and I don't feel like she would be 
be up for cooking tonight. So I think she's going to get some pizza. Um, and let's go ahead and do, let's see, pepperoni pizza, something simple um, that she can eat. She is lactose intolerant, but she's still, I mean, this is me. She still eats cheese like all the time, like pizza, mac and cheese, everything. Like that's her diet, even though she's lactose intolerant, which I love it because that's literally me. But it looks like it's thunderstorming outside. It's raining pretty bad. So, I mean, a night home with pizza definitely sounds good to me. Looks like the pizza finally came. So let's go ahead and take it. And oh my gosh, the thunder is going crazy here in San Maestrino, but I'm pretty sure that Antonia loves the rain just like myself. But <laughs> look at Ciara, she's trying to shove that thing in. And why is it like so dirty and flies all around it? That's weird. Um, that's kind of gross, but it's fine. So, okay. Um, Mindy Lynn just kind of waltzed into our home unannounced and we really don't want visitors. So just tell her, um, to leave because we just want to be alone right now and then grab a piece of pizza and then let's watch a movie. Um, how about we do Diamonds Are For Sims and it looks like there's a dirty plate up here. I thought we got everything, but apparently not. Um, but she's just gonna watch a movie here at the dining table. She's like, mm, this smells so good. I haven't had pizza in forever. I'm like, girl, I know. <laughs> I love pizza. I used to like love it, love it. But then I kind of stopped um, because I did work at a pizza place for a while. And once you work at a pizza place, you just don't like pizza that much anymore. Um, so I don't have it often. I only have it like maybe like once every three months. Like it's, it's bad. It's really bad. But Antonia is going to text Arthur real quick and kind of see when he wants to meet up tomorrow morning to get coffee and kind of plan over the book club she's really excited um like i said something she's always wanted to do forever and the fact that she has somebody else to do it with um kind of really takes the stress off her um but she really likes arthur he's really funny he's really cool um so she's very excited to be starting this um with somebody who also loves books just as much as her but let's put the pizza up and then do the dishes um do we have any more i don't think so so um, I hope not, but I'm gonna let her shower real quick um, and then we will send her off to bed. But yeah, so what happened last night? Um, she hasn't really talked to Tag after he did text her this morning, um, but you know, she still kind of wants to date him. I feel like she feels pressure too because she lost her virginity to him. So she feels like she needs to stay with him, even though obviously us out here in the audience are like, no, you gotta leave him. Like he took advantage of you. Um, but she doesn't know that. I mean, she really doesn't. Like she's kind of um, wishing that it will work out, but I don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. We will see. Um, but I will meet up with you guys in the morning. So Tony and Arthur decided at around 9 a.m. to go and hit the breakfast club in Newcrest um, to try and figure out what they wanted to do for the book club. Um, and I don't know why it said negative. Um, <laughs> they look pretty happy to me, but um, she is having a great time right now and they haven't even um ordered yet so i don't know how tag would feel about this i don't think she told tag that she was going to meet um arthur for breakfast but her and tag aren't even a boyfriend or a girlfriend um they're just lovebirds so really he has no control over what she does um right now she just sees arthur as i mean he's incredibly handsome like a beautiful human being um but she just sees him as a partner right now a friend um and a fellow book lover and looks like he's making her laugh a lot so that's super cute um but let's order for the table and arthur already said that he would pay the bill and antonia like rejected that as soon as he said that he, she was like no no way i'm going to pay um i will not let you pay and he's like please i insist so he will be paying the bill um for our breakfast this morning but i think I think um, Antonia is going to get a cappuccino and then for Arthur, let's do a pitch black. I feel like he would be a pitch black coffee kind of guy. Um, and for breakfast this morning, let's do an omelet for Antonia and then let's do some pancakes for Mr. Arthur. And actually, um, it's 48 bucks, so we are going to have to do something cheaper. Um, we will get that money back, but we have to do cheaper so we can actually pay the bills. Um, so let's just do eggs and bacon for Arthur. 
Um, okay. And instead, let's do pancakes for Antonia. So there we go. We should be good. But they're kind of chit-chatting right now, cracking jokes and stuff like that. They are very um, good together when it comes to, um, like, their personalities are very much alike. But it says, thank you. We'll bring your order out as soon as it's ready. So that is awesome. She's just kind of standing there, but it's really fine. Let's compliment his outfit. Um, she did notice that he has a really good sense of style. Um, but let's get to know him. So he's like, yeah, I've loved books pretty much all my life. Um, my mom and dad used to take me to libraries like all the time when I was a kid. And she was like, no way, me too. She's like, I love your outfit, by the way. And he's like, well, thank you. And he looks like he's having a great time. And the way that he looks at her is really, really cute. Um, Antonia is obviously not sure if he likes her, but she's not really worried about that right now. Like I said, they are just business partners at this point. Um, but she's going going to discuss her favorite authors with Arthur, see if they have any in common. I bet they do. Like, they both really love a lot of books and have read pretty much everything there is to read. Um, but she's going to tell a dramatic story about one of the books that she read, like one of her favorites. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's definitely her favorite. So I think the two of them really do want to start this club. They've been kind of um, looking for other people to do it with, but now that they have each other, um, they are freaking set they're really glad that they met at the party last night um but she's like how long have you known salim and he's like literally all my life um he doesn't like books as much as i do but um that's fine i don't care i have books like all over the bedroom and he doesn't mind so it's totally fine um but let's go to clubs and let's do join a club um and then create a club here we are at the club menu so let's add some members um i wish i could do like co-owners so i can have have Arthur be another co-owner instead of like us just being the only one but we can just pretend that he is a co-owner um so who do we want to add definitely want to invite my mom or Antonia's mom because she did um hear about it from Antonia and really wanted to join so we can do crystal um let's do I know Mila really likes to read books as well um, let's invite some strangers too, or people we don't really know that much. So let's do Isabel Hagen. She looks pretty book smart. Um, and then let's do, uh, Mortimer Goth. Why not? I love that. Um, so requirements. Do we have any requirements? I think they're talking right now and they're pretty much saying that, you know, you don't need to have any requirements. Um, this is an open club. So there we go. No requirements but club activities so let's do choose an action and then i'm assuming it's under hobbies so we got writing right here which yes we can go ahead and do that um and then is there book reading yes reading any other activity that we want to do i don't really think so um let's be friendly obviously we don't want everybody to be mean to each other now for this let's do the book unless there's another one that i see that i like but i'm not really seeing another icon that i'm super crazy over so we can just do the book right here and then for the name i've got it i got it the radical readers <laughs> i know it's bad i know it's bad i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry but we are going to confirm and don't worry we can obviously change the name in the future if um antonia and arthur want to but confirm so yay congratulations antonia has successfully created the radical readers club and now it's time to recruit new members and hit the town so we do have our members right here which is awesome and we actually have 100 club points off the bat so can we buy any club perks with that um we can so popular club um infamous club no we don't want to do that do we want a handshake i don't think so um okay so no we're just gonna save our points up until we can get something that we really enjoy but i think they're both really excited about this new club that they have formed arthur's like so when did you move to the city and she's like actually just a couple months ago um i just got out of college and he's like no way me too where'd you go and she's like i went to you bright how about you and he's like no way same how did we not see each other um but where is she going girl no go ahead and eat your pancakes and finish 
um, that meal that we bought, sis. I swear. <laughs> um, if Arthur's gonna pay for our food, we at least need to eat it all. But Arthur seems very intrigued um, by Antonia right now. Like, he's really, really dumbfounded that somebody else can like um, to read it just as much as him. But if you didn't get a close up of his face, this is what he looks like. This is Mr. Arthur, and he does he does have dreads, which I, <laughs> Antonia really likes. So I'm not sure why, but she thinks it's sexy. But he seems very, very sweet so far. Um, so we are actually late for work. <laughs> We're totally late for work. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, end the meal and pay for the bill. And then we'll add um, 38 simoleons to our account because he did offer um, to pay for the meal. Um, and can we hug him goodbye real quick because we are late for work. I had no idea, I, I didn't even notice. Um, yes, so go ahead and give him a hug and then head off to work. Um, he's like, are you sure you can't talk more? She's like, yes, I need to go, I need to go right now. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the part here. Let me know what you guys think about not just this episode, but about Mr. Arthur, um, something about him, man. And I'm really excited about this book club that we are about to start. I'm not sure where our meeting place is gonna be but we will figure out and Antonio's looking at this guy like hey and he's like hey no no okay um but don't forget to leave a like on the video and turn on your post notifications so you get notified whenever i post a new upload and as always don't forget to subscribe bye y'all